one two is cervical flexion. So go ahead and push into it and push your forehead into my hand and relax. C three is lateral flexion, so go ahead and push into my hand and relax. C three. C four and bring your shoulders up towards you. Hold right there. Don't let me push down. Let's roll. C5 is shoulder abduction. Hold here, don't let me push you down, so hold strong. Hold here, don't let me push you down, hold strong. Okay. I guess I'll do it in sitting. <laughs> um, C6 is elbow flexion. Hold here, and don't let me push you down. Hold here, don't let me push you down. C7 is elbow extension. So don't let me push, don't let me bend your elbow. Hold, hold, hold. Okay. Don't let me bend your elbow. Hold, hold, hold. Okay. T1, thumb extension. Don't let me bend your thumb. And <laughs> long finger flexion. Long finger flexor. So go ahead and bend your, your uh, fingers there. What's wrong with your fingers? Nothing. There you oh, go. that way. Snap. I thought you were saying. Just yeah. Hold here. Don't let me push. So that's T1. So T1 is thumb extension and finger flexors. Long finger flexors. What did I say? No, it's the, uh, that's, sorry, that's C8. That's C8. T1 are um, interosseous, keeping fingers together. Don't let me pull them apart. So C8 is thumb extensors and long finger uh, flexors. And T1, interosseous, don't let me pull them apart. Okay? So again, C1, 2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, which is the most common that you will see is C7. They'll just be like, okay, hold here, don't let me, just like that. Oh, no. <laughs> it won't be painful, they just, you'll just break them. C8, C8, T1. Okay? Alright, do you want to keep going? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me have you on your back. So sensory. We just start with C4 and down. We don't really do C1, 2, or 3. So C4 is going to be right along the upper trap. So let me know this, this. Be the same as this. Okay. C5, you can keep your hands like that, is right on, on the radial, radial uh, styloid process. This, this. Same as this. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to hold your hands like that. C6 is the pad of the thumb. C6. C7 is the pad of the index finger and third finger. C8 is hypothenar and little finger. T1 is ulnar side, distal ulnar side. And T2 is medial aspect of, of the arm, inside of the arm, T2. Okay? So C4, upper trap, C5, radial styloid process, C6, pad of the thumb, C7, index finger and third digit, C8, hypothenar, little finger, T1, on our side, T2, medial aspect of the arm. Okay? And then reflexes, you do biceps. So you want them in elbow flexion, and you want to put some tension on the biceps. So using your thumb, I know all of you are going to complain, oh, this hurts my thumb. It's too bad, get used to it. And again, you're going to use how many times? Six, six, six times. And the biceps reflex is C6. C5, 6? What are we saying it is? We need C5. 
She fought this for five, six. So on a test. Well, yeah, so on a test when we're <laughs> asked between C5 and C6, we go with. Yes. <laughs> and then triceps, the way I like to do triceps is just have them relax. That puts a nice stretch on the triceps and just get behind them and get a nice reflex. C7. Okay. That's it. Easy, right? Mm -hmm.